So, as you can see, we have a uh, trailer with a transmission on it. Well, what the fuck could that be for, Gabe? Well, as you all probably know, I'm giving away a 5th gen right now. 5th gen Cummins 2019. It's actually right behind that door. Don't shoot. <laughs> So, my fifth gen's here. Brian here, he uh, pulled the trans out of that truck yesterday. See, I was driving it to the film it actually. We were driving it around to film it and I, uh, I got on it a little bit and it slipped and I didn't like that. So, we took the stock 68 out of it because these, these trucks come with either an ASIN or a 68 RFE, which is that. 68s are prone to grenading. So we took the stock one out, picked up this built 68. So then the winner of the truck can tow a boat or um, drive it and do burnouts every day and never have any issues. So, you're welcome in advance, future winner. could be. It's a FEMA truck. It can't be used for anything. And just like that, we have a built transmission in our fit shed. That could be your fit chip. This right here is Jackal. This is my 2019 Ram 2500 Laramie Midnight Edition. It's got a six inch striker lift, powder coated black with gold flake, polished overlays, 26 by 16 KG1 forged wheels wrapped in 35 1550 Fury tires. It's the Midnight Edition, so it's got all color match, Alpharex headlights, full leather interior, big fifth gen screen, everything that you can expect from a brand new truck. Six, seven Cummins with straight pipe, and now it has a built 68 automatic transmission. Guaranteed to tow any trailer you hook behind this thing. You guys only have two weeks left to get Aaron to win this truck before it's gone. And right now is your last chance to get four times entries to get Aaron to win this truck. So take advantage of the sale and get Aaron today. And who knows, on October 15th, we might be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Order for GFP. Yep. Is that you? We're here. I don't know why, but when I shipped it, it, it didn't have a wheel on it. Kind of just like threw it on the trailer. I um, don't really know how you're going to get that off, but have a good day. If you guys didn't know, my wheel fell off of Hyde here. Hello. Beautiful truck of mine. I uh, got into the fender, ripped off the bumper, and trashed a brand new JTX 30-inch wheel. The hub broke, axle shaft thingy snapped off. Uh, the nut is actually inside that wheel, bouncing around in between the spacer and the front of the wheel. Broke the brake caliper. I have my good buddy Kyle coming up from Florida. Uh, this truck is going down to Florida because it's going to resurrected fab to get a whole new lift kit. And to get it on and off the trailer, we don't really want to use a jack again because we use a jack to get it up this trailer. <laughs> trusty dusty o'reilly's hub this is like the 17th one i've i've bought for this truck one more ain't gonna hurt the goal is to be able to drive it off the trailer and onto kyle's trailer so then he can take it down there i like kyle so i'm i'm not gonna make him unload it with a, a jack again and then when this thing returns not only will it be perfect it'll also be a whole lot bigger i have a thing with sending trucks off to get rebuilt and uh, them coming back bigger and better than ever. So what's gonna happen with Hyde here? It deserves it anyway. It's a fucking minty ass 2018 Ram 3500. It's got 50,000 miles. This lift was cool. Got a 20 inch Plan B fab lift. I've, I've jumped this truck on motocross tracks. I've done countless burnouts. It doesn't even have a dually rear end. It's about time this lift gets tearing off and we uh we make it actually worth a fuck. Shout out to Plan B fab. You guys built a badass truck. Time to make it even more badass, sir. Upon further inspection, this is a lot worse than we thought. Yeah, it needs like a whole new knuckle. This is the bracket for the brake caliper. This, this is a knuckle. But that's okay because whenever we repurpose this lift for another vehicle, you just swap out the knuckle for a different high steer knuckle and then this lift could be back to normal. Are you recording? Yep. Okay, make sure because I, I want them to know that I work on my own truck. Oh yes, that's correct. I did too much. I pulled it out of the fucking thing. Ah! Upon further inspection, I've actually been telling you the wrong thing the whole time. The hub had nothing to do with that wheel falling off. The actual shaft that holds the, the hub on, basically, that the hub sits on, is what snapped off, which made the axle nut come off, which made the wheel come off. Yes, yes, that, that's what happened. My plan is to either buy another fourth gen mega cab, or it actually doesn't even have to be a mega cab because there's no cradle. We could actually put this lift on a single cab if we really wanted to. Buy another fourth or fifth gen, go through the whole lift when the lift is laying on the floor, make sure all the welds are good, there's no cracks anywhere, fix this axle, do all brand new Himes, definitely brand new coilovers, but eventually I would like to repurpose this lift or sell it to somebody. Actually, my good buddy Blake, he actually already offered to buy it. So if anybody wants a 
plan b fab lift i know last video I, I said that the truck's for sale but now just the lift's for sale obviously like i said it needs to be gone through come shop you know hit me with a reasonable offer and you could eventually be skating just like me well hopefully not just like me i, I would hate yeah, for well. you to have to run across the highway to pick up your wheel but you gotta pay to play sometimes <laughs> the bitches don't spin mm -mm. Nah, this one is uh it's actually bluetooth it has bluetooth spinning caps that aren't turned mm. on right now <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. what the fuck? That would be the axle nut that was supposed to. Actually, the axle nut did its job. That, that's, but that's the axle shaft did, supposed to be like that. did not do its job. That's crazy. It looks like a tree. You can see like all the lines. You can see how old it is. This this one's uh, one, two, three, four, four years old. Makes sense. I, mean, I want to make a chain out of that. What if you can make it spin? That. That'd be hard as fuck. <laughs> Them 30 inch wheels, they're not cool anymore. You know, I'm, I'm more of a big tire, small wheel kind of guy. Them 30 inch wheels and rubber band tires. That's just gay as fuck. Ditch the 30 inch wheels and uh, become a real man and run 20s and 33s. Hey, she looks good from this side. Now it's kind of sketch because the truck like has no brakes right now. So maybe the house will stop it. Probably not drive on that wheel. Hey, we can drive this to Florida. Tell Colin not to even come. We'll just drive it like this. 250,000 or best offer. We'll trade for Lamborghini Aventador. So uh, we got a little surprise for you guys. Kyle brought us another truck. Yeah, that damn. That thing is fucking sick. <laughs> that thing. And the bad thing is, it's not even mine. Have your trucks here. Brought some uh, Florida sand with him. What's it like to have money? I don't know yet. Actually, I just sold my trailer. Oh, why is it louder than the other board? It's way you? louder than mine. Oh my god. And it has wheel lights. <laughs> what you thinking? Um. Oh my god, that's a lot of I love it. It just needs to be white. It just needs to be white? <laughs> Fair enough, I feel you. But you can match gate, black on black. Uh no. It's got big ass metal train horns too. You have metal train horns. So. Alright, well I'm gonna load up my pile of fucking garbage. I'm <laughs> glad it's leaving now. <laughs> you know, I thought about We're not getting that back. <laughs> oh, it's the tree. See you bye. Oh yeah, it's gone. Hell yeah. Kyle said he's too cool to uh, drive around with a truck on stock wheels, so we have to bolt the 30 on real quick. Yeah, it's so like almost the exact. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. No way, like you wouldn't. Legit twins. This will be the first and the last time they're gonna see each other, and they're gonna be totally different in about uh, Christmas. Christmas, this truck will be back. Yeah. Bye, Hyde. See you someday soon, hopefully. Hello, Abby's new truck. You got a new truck. Okay. What happened to you? When I first met you, you didn't even like Dodge and Ford, and you only like Chevys. Now, it's not true. I've you don't even have a Chevy here. I've literally owned a couple of seconds before I met you. Yeah, okay. well, now you're cool um, again. High five. Big proud of you. Thank I would you. say we're twinning, but we're really not anymore. Shh. <laughs> This thing rolled perfectly up a trailer, but barely rolls on a dry surface. Morning work. What the fuck just happened? Uh, yes. <laughs>
And that, kids, is why you don't stick your hands underneath vehicles that are on a jack. <laughs> you will die. Why did it do that just now? Oh, the nut fell off the fucking wheel. Fucking Harbor Freight piece of shit. We need a refund. Oh, my jack is stuck. Time to grab the other jack. <laughs> Which is way smaller. <laughs> 